Yo, gang, and what is going on? Wow, this feels like this is a series dragged up from the dead. But welcome back to Football Manager 2023. This is 2023 with my Plymouth Argyle database, which I said would be dragged on and carried on forever. So I think it's time to re stick to that promise, yeah? And let's actually do this. So we are back today. I remember in the last episode, if you did manage to watch the last episode, I did say we're back for the Manchester United game, but I've changed that up as I feel we are going to come back and do what I feel is unprecedented in an episode. It's going to be long. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do all of these games. One, two, three, four, five games. So we're going to do five games. I won't do any of the guff in between, but the full five games is what we are going to break it down to this very episode. So we're going to start off with a game at Arsenal in the third round of the FA Cup. I've been using a formation this year, which... To be honest with you, it's whacked really good. I've got a few on the go. Um, so I think I'm going to incorporate it into this squad. I think I'll be able to with the players I've got. We'll pick up and we'll see how we get on. So, so yeah, I think we'll be able to kick on and do quite good. But I think what we should do is just find out where we are in this Argyle career. Have a little look at ourselves, where we are and what's gone on. So let's have a little gander at our history. So we have won two Premier Leagues. We won it in 2027. Three years ago, and we won it in 2029. So we are defending champions going in. We have not won a European trophy. We've won one Skybet Championship, Carabao Cup, League Two, and all of that. I don't think we've won any of that. I don't think we were successful until we arrived in the the Premier League. But if you look at our climb, it's been pretty good. So you, you can't be too disappointed with that, really, can you? Our squad is obviously now made up of around regens as we're on 2020 and 2030. And I am a sucker for buying young and making them the best players we can. Even our latest player, Zeno de Bast, is on his way to El Nassar for 29 million. So we will work out, as it's been a while, what our starting 11 is going to be. And when I get back from that, we will name our starting 11 and we will go from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So, gang, I think going in to the FA Cup, uh, I'm not sure what round we're here. We're at here. Um, oh, it still doesn't bloody say. Very FA Cup third round. Oof, against Arsenal in the third round. Tricky. We're going to go Ellen Andre and go. Charter as a right back. Pinero. Zeno de Bast, who has got a bid in from uh, El Nassar. But still, I'm going to give him the game just because, well... I'm going to rest people for the for the main league games. The league is where I'm mainly aiming and focus. I'm just going to get back to some sort of basics here. I've, I'm not sure where we were really in the last episode. Cafe's in at left back. He's unhappy due to the fact he wants a new deal. Al Hassan's going to come in at defensive midfielder. Pox, Pekovic, Gambella out on the left. Hunter and Pascalo up front. So it's a... Not my best starting eleven, but we are going to go for this as our. Oh, actually, I'll do. I'll get rid of some of the instructions. So it's not not our strongest eleven, but we will go in, give it a whirl. Newcastle and big people want Pekovic, so let's go. So we will pump our fists. A lot of credit. Yeah, go on. We'll go with that for now. We'll go with our assistant and let's go. Let's hope we can pull off. Some sort of victory here away at Arsenal. As the game started, chill. Arsenal with much more, much, much, much more of the possession. As Ramsdale picks it up to Godfrey. Oh, God, it's lovely football. Alassane dived in, which wasn't good. Korsik, Zinchenko, Saliba. Corsic does really well. Saliba also. Ravella. Nice ball out. Oh, took a deflection and that done something weird. And Arsenal take a 1 0 lead <clears throat> here against the second string Plymouth squad. Saliba. Ravella. The ball chipped. Took a deflection. And then Andre tried something. 
and there's a gara. Don't know who that is. Popped up and made it 1 0. So we'll drop some encouragement just going in. As come on, lads. Like, I want to see something. As we are playing more of our younger kind of squad going in here. But still, everybody is playing piss poor. It's just to make sure that everybody is training to positions that I now want them at. Which I should do in between the week, but... Um, you can improve, I have faith in you. You have the ability, go out there and prove it, come on. Let's demand some more. Wine, Gambella does well to step in. Steps away, Hunter. The young Scott. Lovely cross. Oh, and Pescalo. Hit it straight down Ramsdale's throat. So we need a bit more. We need a lot more, if I'm honest. They haven't gone on to get the lead anymore. We're going to just slow our tempo down. Just a little bit. Gambella's picked up a knock. So, Otet will come on. Pescalo for Zitkovic. Kafazus, Rossi. Wow, everybody's playing so shit. Uh, get, getting rid of the yellow. I feel will be the best. Right, there we go. I'm ringing in wholesale changes and demanding more. So come on, guys. Zikovic with a corner to bust. Pretty piss poor. Pretty piss poor. Demand more instructions. We will go. Ah. I'm going to hit shoot on sight. Ramsdale. Oh, but Hunter does well to intercept. One of the few players who's had an averagely good game. Rossi with a cross. Oh, Tet. Yes. 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 And that will get us one. Get in there, lad. Um, I'm going to get rid of that for now. Arsenal had so much possession. We have had a few more shots. Let's see if we can offer some encouragement. That's Hunter to Ortet. Ortet is just priceless. So it's going to go to a replay. Um, you've done brilliantly to come back from a draw. I'm proud of you. That's what I'm going to say to him. It's a good result away. If it was in the league, we'd be happy with it. But it does add another fixture. So I'm going to rest there. And we will be back for the very next game up against Leicester in the Premier League. So we will be back for the Leicester game at home. Hopefully we can get a bit better result. Um, I'm going to stick with this formation at least for a few. I've still got the old formation brought forward, the one that's dragged us to glory so far. So please join us for the Leicester game and I will see you guys next for this quadruplet of games. So in a bit. So back we is Leicester game as we are two points clear with a game in hand and this will obviously be the game in hand against Liverpool who are chasing us and I think chased us last season as well if I can remember correctly. It's not going to be an easy season, not going to be an easy game. We will crack on, do the usual biz, lay him start 11 and then we will be back. So going into the home game against Leicester City, we are going to go Elian Andre, Sanchez. Kempin, Osses, Rossi, Carlos de Bees, Jukic, Pekovic, Ote, Kepa, and Zikovic. I feel that's going to be our best starting 11 going in. I think this is close to our best starting 11 overall. Um, Van Kempin, maybe for Panero. Um, but yeah, let's hope those two haven't played very well in those positions that they have been playing. Osses is. Fairly strong on both feet. Van Kempen is fairly strong on both feet. So, yeah. We are going to go with that. And we are going to hope that we can get a win here against Leicester City. So, let's do this. 
so we will pump our fists and we will say we're home so when our home games let's go no excuses it's as simple as that really we haven't been on good form lately so let's hope we can turn it around and pick up three points here as we don't want to falter we don't want to start to become mm, middling is the, is the word not back to being middling so 21 minutes gone and we've not done much but it's a highlight about to come Paybrook sends it or says we'll win the header Pekovic picks it up Carlos the Beast to Jukic back to Van Kempen oh it's nice to have these players back Otet Jukic great ball and Zikovic will make it 1-0 and that's what we want fast quick play we've got the players who are full of speed Sanchez picks it up Otet little pass to Jukic who just kept on powering lovely ball across and Zikovic will make it 1-0 get in there lads now Otet free kick Oh, cannons off a crossbar and Jukic will... Is he onside? He is. Oh, we'll take that. We will take that very much. Altet smashes it off of the crossbar and Jukic just, well, just placed it in. That'll do. Easy. Easy. So I'm going to... I was going to drop a little bit of praise, but Barnes will pick it up. Baybrook will bring it forward. It's a great name. Braybrook, Brook, Christensen, Kior. Oh, it's a nice football from Leicester. Oh, and Harvey Barnes scores a goal that's worthy of a goal. And it is awarded. Leicester just ran us around for a bit. Carlos de Beast. Lovely ball through. Sanchez couldn't quite make it. And Andre was left faltering. So I am actually going to demand a little bit more. I was going to offer him some praise just a second ago. But after that I feel demanding more is more worthy. Things are going well but I know you're capable of better. So let's do that for the second half. Because well... That's what I want. But you're doing all right. But I know you can do way better. Uh, Kepa Ruiz, development, training, inside. Nope, not invited winger anymore. Inside, forward, attack. Altet, where is Altet training? Development, training, winger, nope. Inside, forward, attack. That's just for pure versatility. It's a lovely ball from Altet. Sanchez and Zikovic slots it in at the near post to make it 3 1 and probably kill the game. I will switch it to balanced and that will just allow us to have a little bit of respite. Kepper is not really playing very well. Van Kempen neither. Marcel is playing very good. So we will make some changes. Due to fitness reasons, another reason we are going to go Pinero. It's going to come on at centre back. And Van Kempen is going to play out right back on defend. We are going to go Cafezas in at left back. De Bruyne is going to jump in at defensive midfielder on defend. Not really put too much about. Hopefully just see us through for the last 15 minutes. Pox is going to come in on the right. And Pescalo is going to come in on the left. Just due to the fact that Craig Hunter isn't very fit. Still though. I really want Craig Hunter to have the game time. So yeah, so yeah. Same thing, except for Craig Hunter is going to come out on the left instead of Pescalo. Zikovic can finish the game up front. So let's go. Last 15 minutes. Let's hope. We can back a win. I'm confident. Faces. Zakarian. Ramsey. Nice work from Panero. Oh, but De Bruyne gives it away. Oh, but that's a lovely little, lovely little chip through the middle. And Zikovic gets a hat trick. I'm going to offer a praise bomb after that. Get in there, boys. Get in there, boys.
De Bruyne intercepted. Petkovic managed to flick it on to Zikovic. And he slots it in. That is beautiful. Oh, that's not. That's Jukic picked up a knock. And we can't make any more subs. So what we'll do is we'll just move Pox to that attacking midfielder. Petkovic, we're going to have to just play with 10. And hope we can get by for the last seven. Which I'm confident we can. Just slightly inverted from Pox there. Or says, Cafes is... Jiong does really well, but says steps in. Jiong switches it, Van Kempen with a header. If for some reason we just can't get playing well. Cafezas does really well to intercept. Bring it down the left, Hunter, Petkovic. Oh, and even with 10, we almost bagged another one. Zikovic with a corner. Lovely corner it is. Oh, it's headed well, 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 well away by Tangana. And that will do us. That is a decent, a decent result. Outstretched arms. Well done, lads. Fantastic result. So we will be back in four days' time. For the Liverpool game. So stick around. We've got more games to come. Including PSG and Juventus. PSG and Juventus. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So not incredibly amounts of loads of gossip and stuff to fill you guys in on. A couple of lone players have gone out. We signed a young Brazilian promising centre back. He will go into our 21s and loiter about for a little while. I probably only went in for him well, because he was a free transfer. So we managed to get Alex Carvo, who will, we'll see. There could be a turnover on him in a few years' time. But apart from that, no real big news. So back today for the Liverpool at home game. Ooh, five points clear. This will set a cat amongst the pigeons. So I'll name our starting eleven, which should be pretty similar to this. And then we will be back in a sec. Exactly the same starting eleven going in to this game as we did the Leicester game. Uh, we are going to go Elin Andre, Sanchez, Kempen. Oh, Kempen's just got me thinking, shall I swap him for Pinero? We're going to go Pinero. Pinero, Osez, Rossi, Carlos Tabas, Djokic, Petkovic, Ortet, Kepariz and Zikovic is going to come in and fill us up front after a banging hat-trick in the last game. Let's crack on against Liverpool. Our bench is pretty full, full of youngsters, full of potential ability. People can come on and fill in every position. So, let's go. We will pump our fists. We will ask them to give the fans. We are going to go fists, faith, fists, faith. And let's go, boys. Big game. Big, big game. Nunezu, Bellingham. Kudus, oh, and then Andre tips it onto the bar. Kudus to Bellingham. Jukic does well to intercept. Kepariz will bring it away, but Ottagon will. Christopher Ottagon. And everybody else is pretty hard of. Charlie Pimlock is a young goalkeeper. Go and test him. Let's offer some encouragement. As we get corner, here we go. Pimlock with a goal kick. Nianzu. When I does lose it, Carlos de Beast Jukic finds his way to Zikovic and Pekovic. Smashes it over the bar. And now we have five opportunities, but none on target. Or Tet. Can he change that? Ooh. No, he can't as he starts on the right for. And the missing Gambella. With six shots, none on target. We're going to demand some more with five minutes to go. As I feel there is more in these boys. We owe Liverpool. Go and get revenge. Let's go. Encourage. Oh, Petkovic has picked up a knock, which will have to be dealt with. 
pox will come on. My midfield is small. Encouraged. This game has been lacking highlights. So changes that are made. Charteres will come on for Sanchez. Kevin De Bruyne is going to come on because Jukic is having such a shocking game. Um, as well as Petkovic. Both of them midfielders were both having such a shocking game. They're gone. Uh, Hunter and Pescalo for Kepa Ruiz and Zikovic. And hope maybe our youngsters can inspire us to something. I'm going to offer some encouragement. Liverpool corner. Pantera Wana. Luis Suarez in the snow go. From Craig Hunter, one of the men I just brought on. Oh. A non-inspired substitute or what? Playing to Theo, Wanner, Salah cuts inside and Hunter panicked. Oof. And that leaves us in a precarious position now. As Liverpool catch up and only be two points behind. Pascal with a corner. Oh. And it was easy for Pimlet. Or it seemed easy anyway. And he sent it long. The highlight does continue. Pinero, Charteres, De Bruyne. All tap with a lovely turn. Pascal, Charteres, Pox. Oh, 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 that'll do. We'll switch it back to attacking. But yes, that will do. Altet does really well to get away. Charteres knocks it inside. Pox sends it. Yes. We'll take an equaliser. We'll do that. Unlucky. But we'll take it. They performed piss poor, if I'm brutally honest with you. So, guys, I know I think I said that we were going to do like a quadruple episode here, but I think I'll be better off coming back and doing this one, uh, doing the PSG and the Juventus game in the next episode. As we might... Nah, I thought the Arsenal game might be shoved in between it because it's a week. But we will be back for the Juventus and the PSG games, and then I will choose a few more games coming into the end of the season to find out how we get on. As I would love to get this football manager season and this career up and running again. Because, well, it, it's pretty damn good, in it? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, if you've watched this far, then I appreciate. Um, we will be back, as I said, for the very next game against PSG in the Champions League. So, much love for me. It, which is actually also a competition we've never won before. We've we've never won anything in Europe, so hmm, could this be our year? I fucking hope so. It'd be about time. So yeah, much love for me. Peace. Yeah.